All right, we're trying to fend off Ramirez, who invaded our island, and it, we're a bit different than last time. I let the shadows live because if you hadn't figured it out last video, you can't kill Ramirez. So I do want to get rid of those shadows just in case. Uh... Oh yeah, that's that's lovely. I kind of want Ramirez to do his uh, special move, but. So let's see if we can't uh, wound those other guys. I just want to make this battle go a little faster since Ramirez was kind of piddle dinking around for most of the time. Like he is now! I mean, at the first turn of this battle when I got back here, since I had to uh, start over again since I had forgotten when you leave Sailor's Island you come straight here and I didn't have a chance to save. So that kind of sucked for me, but I had to go all through that... Uh, De loco crap again. So uh, let's defend. He should. There he goes. Silver Eclipse. Darkness. Sword of the Dark Wish. We'll have plenty of chances to see this if we uh, had watched the whole fight and actually tried. Because, uh. But this move practically kills you instantly. It'll put everyone. Like, it'll put Vice down to about a third and Aiken. Fina down to about 20% or so. But as you can see, those ninjas actually do have a rather tough attack in a death strike or death blow or whatever they called it. Fortunately for us, they just kind of use silence that whole first fight. I'll kind of shut up for most of this fight, but Ramirez has all the crystals and is making them float somehow. And this part's kind of important though, so I'll kind of shut up and summarize in the end. Okay, now this choice is not a swashbuckler choice. I'm gonna ask about what power is he talking about? Has already has it. <gasps> Fina too. Hey, it's Gilder and Claire to the rescue. So 
So according to Ramirez, the elders are trying to end the world? That can't be right. He's trying to trick us. We did not give him the crystals. He stole them from us, game. Yeah, I figured I just had to kind of be quiet there. It's kind of a pretty important uh, plot point there, plot progression. And we're about to get another uh, few swashbuckler choices. Pretty sure the uh, Dolphinus could invade value, but no, we're not going to give up. Alright, so we could go talk to people and cheer them up, but it's not going to do anything for our Swash Buckler rating, and we've got a schedule to keep. So let's go up here and, and see how Fina's holding up. We understand, Fina. Another easy swashbuckler choice. <sighs> hey, smile. If he wants something built, he'll build it. If we don't want something built, he's gonna build it anyways. <laughs> They're too quick, so he has to spell or something. Lawrence. That's about as much character as he'll have pretty much the entire time. He's such a cold, hard mercenary. Yeah, this seems about as good a place as any to call it a video. So we'll pick up here next time with, uh, the now smaller armada in Galcian. See ya.